the next topic here is the largest lithium ion battery storage facility in Europe. It's a system powered by 78 Tesla megapacks. Harmony Energy says these megapacks use LFP batteries. And then um, you, oh, I, yeah, I think you had a tweet that I removed. So let's go and watch that video and um, learn more about this megapack in Europe. This is just a very recent uh, announcement. Absolutely enormous. There are 78 megapacks, which together provide a capacity of about 200 megawatt hours. And that could power 300,000 homes for about two hours. It's the largest lithium ion battery storage facility in Europe. The technology we're using, which is uh, LFP technology with Tesla, uh, there's been no fire incidents on that technology. Um, so less concerns. And I guess as the technology moves on, you know, safety is a major, uh, major importance for us at Harmony and for the industry in general. Um, so we've had no uh, safety incidents at all on any of our sites. But this isn't just about big batteries that can store heaps and heaps of energy. This is also about AI. And in the case of Pillswood and Harmony Energy, who own and run this site, that means Tesla's auto builder system. And that effectively is a super sophisticated software platform that can buy and sell electricity in real time. So in order to hit that sweet spot of buy low, sell high, it's monitoring all sorts of things like how much energy is being generated, how much is being used, what's the weather doing, um, and can use all sorts of factors to predict what the market might do from there. And from there, it can make a strategy of how to discharge and charge the batteries and make bids on electricity on behalf of Harmony Energy. So of course, this is about making money, but it's also about how to make the grid as stable as possible. Wow. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? So a couple of really important points that they brought out. One of the things is by what they choose to say about the Tesla Megapack system they put in, you can see the criteria that they used in deciding to go with the Megapack in the first place. So now that the Megapacks are using the LFP batteries, which are more stable to fire, they specifically call that out. Now, only one Megapack has ever burned, and that was before it was actually hooked up and it didn't have its safety hooked up into the battery yet. So it was during installation. Uh, so it's not even a concern with the non-LFP batteries, but certainly if you're a utility, and you're, and you're going to your customers or, or another company to be able to say, these are phenomenally safe against a fire risk is a, is a really good point about it. That the other thing that was really interesting is they specifically brought out that it's not just a box of batteries, it's a smart box of batteries. The AI was one of the key determinants for them choosing to go with the Tesla Megapack because they're in the business to make money. And so the, the auto builder can help them decide, decide automatically when to charge the battery, to, when to discharge the battery, when to do an energy arbitrage and, and sell electricity uh, to other providers when they need to support the grid. And she said a lot of the factors that come to in place, it even looks at what the weather is to get an idea of what dem if there's going to be excess demand, if, you know, if it's going to be a heat wave, then everyone's going to turn on their AC and they're going to need more electricity. Uh, so it was, it's very interesting on how that criteria was going down and some of the things that we've been saying, but to hear it from the people that chose to purchase the mega packs. And then if you look at the sheer number of mega packs by the price, you can see that uh, the potential that Tesla has there in, in energy as a business. And furthermore, there's the ongoing revenue. So Tesla, once again, they, Tesla reiterated that they're looking at a 25% profit margin on mega packs. And one of the reasons why they can do it, that's the same reason why Elon Musk has now said on EVs, if we have a 19% profit, profit gross margin or operating margin right now, you shouldn't be that concerned because we can sell many follow-on services and unlock a lot of potential future profit so with the mega packs, it's the exact same thing, where it's almost like the mega pack itself is is the razor, and you're selling them the blades in for in terms of these service contracts, in terms of the of the software, and in some cases with the mega pack, they're selling it at a deferred capex, so they're taking a discount off the purchase price that the seller is paying them in exchange for Tesla being able to share in the auto builder biddle revenues that are coming in. So that will also be an ongoing source of income 
for Tesla. So you're going to start seeing these continuous revenue streams that energy will generate. The reason why Tesla isn't talking about that yet is simply because energy is not yet real. Lathrop is, is just getting going now. They're going to have, be building the factory in Shanghai. We're, we expect other announcements coming in, out, out about energy. And we know from watching that just the Berlin ramp and, and the Austin ramp that new factories drag on margins. So Tesla is managing expectations very smartly, knowing the massive expansion they have coming in the energy space. And it makes me very bullish on Tesla's ability to talk Wall Street's language now, where they're looking ahead and they're not even talking yet about this ongoing source of revenue because it won't be material until these factories actually ramp. So rather than it, and the 25% profit margin in and of itself at the time of sale is enough to make Wall Street excited. They don't have to talk about all these other benefits yet. But as, as retail investors, we can certainly look ahead and know that's coming, coming, coming. And it's just going to be another source of growth for Tesla in the future. And it's really great because it decyclifies Tesla from the macro environment where energy is always needed. And these ongoing revenue streams are just going to stay being there and it's going to soften these large up and down movements that we like we just saw with the macro impacting auto sales and the macro will always impact auto sales. You just can't get away from that. It's a very expensive purchase. Yeah. That's yet another thing that is kind of stayed under the radar. This is the largest battery storage facility in Europe. Um, which is fantastic. So well, all these things are happening, but like you said, it's kind of staying in the, the radar for now. And then it'll start to, once the factories, the mega pack factories are in scale, we're going to start hearing more and more of this and Tesla will no longer be a car company. It'll be a car and energy company. And, and then the other thing they said, the AI. So it's so wonderful that that video pointed out that Autobidder is an AI software that really does managing the buy low, sell high scenario. And so when people say that, well, these are just battery packs, there's going to be a million competitors. And it's true, these are battery packs. If you can get a hold of the battery, number one, having those contracts, you just stick them together in some sort of, you know, simple little, you know, thing. Sure, there's going to be lots of competitors, but it's the auto bidder that actually manages that and then makes it whether or not you as a utility are going to make money or you're going to lose money. How are you going to manage that? So that combination of the two is a huge uh, value proposition that Tesla has that no one else has, or maybe a few might have. And regardless, I have, you know, have to say that it doesn't matter if there's competition. This market is so big. You can have you know, a thousand people making uh, battery packs and you yourself will still have a very, very sizable business. So it doesn't have to be a winner. You know, one company wins it all, but there's clearly a value proposition that an advantage that Tesla has that maybe a bunch of others don't. Well said. I, I completely agree with everything you just said <laughs> and yeah. perfectly stated of, of the huge, huge opportunity here and the, the enormous size of the market. Um, there is room for every single competitor out there and they will still be waitlist for the product. Mm -hmm.